The Illumina HiSec 2000 and 2500 are advanced DNA sequencing machines that have been replaced by a new generation. Institutes and companies around the world are now getting rid of these machines and they're available for cheap. We managed to get a hold of the machine and reverse engineer a lot of the internal communication and document that and we've been able to do high resolution fluorescence microscopy using this machine. When I started uh, looking into the machine, a lot of people will tell me this is a black box. I made myself a challenge to try to reuse the whole system as it is. And um, by digging into it, I little by little figured uh, out how the individual components work and how they were connected. And we kind of uh, managed to do a software that um, does fluorescent microscopy with the, with the system. And at some point then I was like, uh, it's, I think it's interesting to um, do this software properly. What I did was just a hack, and so that's why I'm looking forward to um, this project um, being funded, because I think um, when this software, based on what we have so far, is, um, is available, a lot of other people that um, can get their hands on such a machine uh, might be able to reuse it for, for other purposes. Hi, I'm John Markham. Uh, I work as a researcher and bioinformatician uh, in Melbourne at a cancer hospital, uh, but part of my research is I've got a project involved in microfluidics looking at um, patient DNA in cancer and we were hoping to use the HiSeq uh, both for its microfluidics um, to drive a chip that we're making and we'd also ideally like to use the microscope to visualise what we've got on the chip. In the context of scientific instruments, which this is, um, Closed source, I would say, is a big problem because then the the instrument you use and that you base your research on is a closed system, a black box, where you don't know the details of how um, how the experiment is executed. Uh, if it is open source, then you have the full documentation when you publish, so everybody can see how things are made. But you can also adapt the software and the instruments to the experiment that you want to do, which is something that is of course very powerful instead of just having the fixed building blocks that the industry provides. We are launching this campaign to write a user-friendly open source software that will allow you to use such a machine as a high-resolution fluorescence microscope with integrated microfluidics and more.